I wanted to create a space where people felt like they could come and like kind of relax, but also think about things um, in a way that isn't combative. But I do think that art has a little bit of an obligation to create tension and create a conversation within people. Public art projects like this are important because it gives people a space to gather and to talk about what it means to be a part of the place that they live. I really like that we're taking up all this huge space in a public area to insert brown bodies and indigenous femininity because we don't talk about it very much and when people do talk about indigenous women they talk about the traumatic things that happened to us. Trying to incorporate the sort of Native American spiritual system of creation stories and how we learn to understand ourselves as humans into a wall that meets a corner. And honestly, at first it was sort of challenging. To the Lakota people, things are circular and things are always cycling and changing the sacred hoop of life. What that other side is connected to this is, this is where we come from. We know who we are. Things got fractured along the way. Bits of history were missing. Parts of where you come from are missing because of relocation. As we come together nowadays, like we're finding different pieces of ourselves and of each other and putting them together into this sort of beautiful, fractured identity where we all belong. The stories that come together within the composition are really reflected of the people who have gathered at the table at that time. Um, the way that this was um, based was that we met with members of the Vermilion community and we asked them what they wanted to see depicted in a public space. The community is not only helping in building the, the mural or the, the thing that's being made, they're also a part of the process of creating the themes and concepts that are represented in the image. It's not just lines, it wasn't meant for consumption, it was meant to beautify life. I really wanted to create something empowered and I wanted to reflect um, strength and empowerment back to our women and girls because when you're only being reflected one side of the story and it's like sad and it's traumatic it's difficult to form an identity that's empowered based on those images so I think that's my favorite part.